Okay, John the Van Guy, Campbell Chains, first one I've done, so I'll be quick. Yeah, first of all, you will see on the internet, this is the Bongo 2.5 diesel. Um, this is the passenger side. You first of all got to take the seats up. This seat, the passenger seat, will actually just uh, undo the clips and then lift over. The If you've got a conversion, the driver's seat will need to be unbolted. Four bolts, easy to get out. Um, again, use the impact to actually get them out. It's very quick and easy. So, this is the passenger side. Now, on the 2.5 engine, the all the belts are here. Now, some people don't take the top off, manage to do it and work their way through on both sides or underneath. Uh, it's handy to have the bottom panel off so you can get to underneath. So you'll be turning the crankshaft to turn the engine, which is that huge, big bottom pulley. Um, right, now, so how to do it? Um, you've, I've actually taken, to get complete easy access, I've actually taken this top off. It's not too difficult. Uh, the handbrake and the gear stick actually sits on them. A number of bolts all the way round. You will actually find them. There's one actually sits under that, and there's one down there. There's three on this side, about three here, and a number all the way round. But no big deal taking those off. And then you can lift the whole. This is it. Off. So you get to that stage. Then you've got to find a way. This is the cam belt cover of getting it off. Now to get it off, I've also doing the water pump at the same time. Now, this is the alternator here, as you can see. The water pump is, uh, you can see the hole for it there. Uh, so it's easier, actually, I think, if you take the water pump off anyway, to actually guess at this. You probably don't have to take it off, but I thought I'd take it off because I'm changing it anyway. And my new water pump is there. Um, that's the old one. It doesn't look too bad, actually. But do it at the same time. And the gasket comes with it. Now, to get this off, they're actually, these are the bolts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, there's supposed to be an order of taking them off, or putting them back on again. You see these two central ones, then top and bottom, then top and bottom. Um, so, uh, you'll find, if you try and get it off, what will happen is, what I did find, well, there's a big air pipe in the way, and that runs to this. So at the end, you've got this air pipe thing, and this big rubber pipe is in the way of the cover, uh, as is this long tube coming up here. So there's a bolt at the top, a uh, bracket and a bolt, so you can actually just undo that and push that back. Taking this off is no big deal. Number of bolts, take it off. Um, the big thing is when you're doing this on the is to make sure all your markings on the pulleys uh, and are in place and you get everything lined up properly. Uh, you can't really make a huge mistake if you do this because um, once you've lined it up, you can turn it all by hand. Um, the actual camshaft is actually driven by the uh, by the F FIP, the fuel injection pump pulley here. And that actually drives the camshaft. Uh, so, but you turn the whole thing with the crankshaft using a big, massive, um, I think it's a 38 mil uh, socket, which you'll have to get. You'll have to get something to move you. I'll show you that, that in a minute. Um, what else? So and then it's a case of getting the actual lid itself off. It's just shown you. Um, putting this back on again, the important thing is to make sure, again, you get lined up. There's one there and there's one there. I've made my own markings as well. Uh, there, there and there. I've got some white enamel I've put on. And down here, you can see that pointer, uh, that little triangle there, and the mark on the actual pulley. FIP pulley. Uh, I've got to line a bit difficult if you've got to use mirrors and that. Uh, that's why I put another mark on there to make it a little bit easier using a, a three-line marker system. Uh, my own three-line marker system to actually try and get things lined up properly. 
if things are out of line or when you put this on and you, and you find out you're one notch out then you take the belt off and you can readjust this this cam belt pulley you don't have to touch this thing again this is the important one the one the driver the fip pulley once you've done that you should be able to turn things appropriately um make sure that the this long stretch when you're putting everything back on is uh, reasonably tight uh, and the you can see that's the tensioner there to, to undo the tensioner you undo that great big nut um, and um, the tensioner is on sits on the shaft and it's spring tensioned you'll see the spring from the other side from the passenger side you can just unlock the spring unhook it and you can pull the tensioner off and hook the spring and uh, putting it back on is just the reversal of that so there's bound to be things i've forgotten but you i'm learning as i go along so just a few tips uh, what else can i find also there was uh, i had to get the pulley off the um water pump and to do that that's the water pump pulley to get these off actually the impact um, drill was actually excellent for getting those off because they the whole thing tends to turn when you actually unlock them this is the this is the fancy thing which turns the crankshaft which I can use to turn the crankshaft and what does it say on it size wise it says one one to one and a half CRV right anyway that fits and it works so that's that's now. If you want to look from underneath, ah, ah, might just help to realign things so, so you can see you see up there. And if you look very hard, you probably see the marking on the top pulley, uh, which you've got to line up, uh, and you can see everything. So, uh, and you can see where the uh, where can you water pump goes around there and this is the compressor by the way for the aircon this this thing here that's the compressor for the aircon and look, there was no belt on there uh, but for the alternator going to the crank there's actually two belts so two belts for that and, and there's also and uh, which is separate from the uh, compression compressor for the aircon Okay, that's it for now.